Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to look at creating a HUD and collectibles. So we just need two new scenes for this. So we're going to create a main scene and we're going to create a collectible scene, both of which need scripts. OK, once we finish scripting, we're then going to add our collectible to the level. For this instance, we're going to use coins, but you're more than welcome to use whatever you want. So here we are. We've got level one. Let's go and create our new scene. So the first scene I'm going to create is my main. So new scene. And let's add the first node. So for the main, we just need a node 2D. So if you just start typing, it comes up. So node 2D. And we're just going to call this main. Um, for all references, I'm just going to keep it a lowercase m. Um, this will make it a little bit easier to find later on, especially if you're following along with what I'm doing here. So the next thing we need to do then is to attach this to the auto loader. We want the main to be on every single level and we want all of the information that the HUD creates to be on every level as well. So let's come up to our scene and let's just save that scene and make sure it's called main and there we go, press save. The next thing we need to do is come up to project and go project settings. So from here we just need to go along to where it says auto load and there's these little two dots here and we're just going to find that main scene and we're going to add it here and this is what's going to allow it to load every single level without changing things like score or health levels so we click on these buttons there we find the main which is this main scene here double click and then we press the add button once we press the add button you'll see it's in this list and that it's enabled and once it's enabled everything is good we can just close this window now we can access this scene from every single level which is great so the next thing we need to do for our main scene is add the hud so if we click the plus button and we're going to add a canvas layer now if you just type in canvas and scroll all the way to the bottom it will be right there and it's called canvas layer now the canvas layer is really clever because what it allows you to do is it allows the main to pop to the front of the screen and it also allows the main to take control of this area here which is the screen now if you remember when we are currently using a camera which takes us out of this area but the canvas the canvas layer allows us to stay within that layer and it allows us for things like the score to be on the top rather than it to fall behind um, really really clever you won't even notice it there but it's really important that you have the canvas layer so let's just call this HUD for heads up display and this is going to house things like our lives and our score so what we're going to do in this lesson is add a score so click on the HUD again and then click the plus button and this time we're going to add a label so start typing label mine's already here so I'm going to double click now I've got my label set up, I just want to give it some some information, so I'm just going to say score, and then I'm going to start with zero. I've done my score in all uppercase because the font I'm about to use doesn't recognize lowercase, but you can do yours however you want. So press enter to save that, and it's here. So I'm just going to change my font for my score. So let's come down to where it says custom fonts, and change it from null to dynamic font, and then click again inside of the font we're just going to drag our um, font into it and you can use whatever font you want okay now we've got that we just need to go to settings and I'm just going to make it 36 that seems to work quite well for this and it's nice and big and I'm just going to pull it in a little bit because this is where it's going to display on our screen okay so that's going to look great um, now we're happy with that we can just save this scene and we can test see if anything's working yet it might not but let's just test it see what's happening so press play and you can see that the score is already there and as I move around it stays in the one place and if there's any levels where I can drop behind you'll notice that it always stays on top which is great um, exactly what we want okay so we've just set up our score which is brilliant the final thing we need to do on this one is just to add a script we'll come back in a second and we'll start scripting but let's just add it now just so it's there so let's just press the script button and press ok um, make sure it is a GD script press ok and we're all set to go let's just save all scenes again just make sure we're good now, the next thing we want to do is to add our collectible. So I'm going to call mine coin um, because you can have all kinds of collectibles. You can have gems, you can have coins, you can have whatever. So go collectibles, say new scene. And the first one we want is an area 2D. 
So if we look at the Area 2D, it's this one here, double click. Now the Area 2D, if we click on top, we're going to add the coin sprite. So let's add the sprite to that, which is great. And then if we click back on this top level, we're just going to add the Collision Shape 2D, and that's all the nodes we need. So Collision Shape 2D, and there it is. So let's just rename this so we can save it. And I'm just going to call my coin. Okay. Um, now we've got the coin set up, let's just bring in the sprite for it, so it actually shows something. So if we head on over to our tiles and its items, and I'm going to use a gold one for this, there is, but there's loads of different things you can use. And I'm going to drag this into the texture, and just zoom in so I can see it. Now come down to your collision shape 2D, and where it says null, we're just going to change this shape to a circle. Remember, we're going to grab these inner bot points, not the outer ones. Just drag it out. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because I want him to actually touch it. So I'm going to come slightly in with that one. And that's great. Select the top layer again. Let's save that. So save scene. Make sure it's called coin. And once again, let's add a script. So let's just click again, press the script button, and press create. So that's pretty much all the hard work done and it doesn't hurt to keep saving I've had a few issues where things where things crash so we'll just carry on with that um, so let's have a look at this we're currently on the coin script and if you can't see this go into the script menu and let's just start scripting our coin so the first thing we need to do is get access to our our HUD because we want to pass the information into that main scene. So as long as you've called yours main with a lowercase m, yours will be almost identical. But here's a really quick way of getting the address that we need. So we're going to go to the GD, okay? So not the not the scene. So we've got a main scene, but we actually want to attach the main GD, which is the script. So let's right click, copy path, and let's just paste our path in between. Um, these two speech marks. So paste it in there, and there we go. Now we've got access to that script, which is great. What we're going to do now is just delete everything here. So we don't need any of that. So we're going to delete that. Um, we just need to create a signal. So if we head on back over to the 2D node, and we're going to press on this node here, and let's just make sure we've got that selected. There we go, node. And the one we want is when something enters. So when the player enters the coin, we want to trigger a reaction. So where it says body entered, this is the one we want. Okay. And this will only appear if you've got the node 2D set up. So body entered, double click, and then make sure it's connected, press OK. And then we've got the first part of the script and everything's kind of connected. So let's add the next line that we want. So what we want to do is if the body if the body that enters is the player we want it to do something so we're going to say if body dot name and this will get the name directly from the player so whatever you've called your player or your top node has to be exactly the same now so we're going to say player and you'll notice that mine was player with a capital p if body dot name equals player do something so the first we want the first thing we want to do is enter, so add five points to the score. So we're going to say get underscore node, and then we're going to have our brackets there. I'm just going to close it at the same time, and then I'm going to have my speech marks inside. Now we need a forward slash root, and the one we want is this one here. So root main. So just press enter, and it will give you that. Just get rid of that extra set. So this is the root node that we're getting access to, which is going to have our label there. So we can then say dot score plus equals oops five. So every time we go into a coin, it's going to add five points. The last line of code that we need is to, to remove the coin. So as we collect it, we just want to get rid of it. And this is really simple. We just say Q3. Okay, so it's that one there, Q3. And that is all of our code. That's everything we need for the coin. So let's just save that. Fantastic. Now let's head on over to main. So we've got this main one set up. Now in our main one, we just need to add a variable that allows us to get access to the score. So we've created our, if we go to the main here, we've created our label. 
Um, let's just call that score just so we can get proper access to it. Okay, and that make more sense. Head back on over to scripts. So now we want to say something like var, which is our variable name, score is initially assigned to zero. And then we need to set up a set get method. Set get and this allow us to this will allow us to change the score every time that we go over a coin. So we say set um, score, and this is a function that we've we've still got to create. Oh, let's just make sure we spell set right. So set score. Then the next thing we need to create a function, and the function is going to be called set score, which is exactly the same as the line above. And then we want to pass in a value. So now we have the set score and the value. We now need to get that value. So we just say score assigned to value. And that whatever the value of score is, um, it will assign that. So let's just then say get the node and update it. So we're going to say get underscore node. And then we need to type in the path of our node again. So the path of our node is root. And then it's main. And then we have to go a bit deeper this time. So we have to go HUD. And then we have to call the label as well. So in this case, our label is called score. OK, so now we've got all that. We can then change what the what the um, value of the score is going to be. So we're going to say set text. And then we're going to say score. So we've got that one done. Inside of this, we're going to say score. And I've done mine uppercase again because my font's a bit funny and it will remove it otherwise. And then after the speech mark, we want to say plus str because we want to convert it to a string. And then inside these next two brackets, we just want to call up score. And that is it. That is everything we have to type. Nice and simple. Let's save all scenes. Now, you, you will find problems with your code. If you miss out this forward slash, you'll also find problems if your root doesn't look like this. So if it doesn't go root, then main, then HUD, then score. If it doesn't follow through like that, um, you have to give it the appropriate name. So as you can see, mine is main and it's spelled exactly the same. Um, HUD, exactly the same with the uppercase and then score. If you don't do that, it obviously won't recognize it. It won't, it won't understand what to do. Okay, so let's save this scene. Now we're getting a few errors, so I'm hoping this will work. But let's play it and hopefully everything will work and hopefully we'll we'll have our score activated. Now there is one problem. <laughs> Tell me what it is. Um there are no coins. So we have to do one last thing and that's attach the coins to the levels. So let's come to level one, click on this 2D button, and let's add our coins. So you can have as many coins as you want. So click on this top level, level one top level and then click on this this little link and we're going to link that coin scene so double click um, and there's our first coin so we can grab that there and that's great now the next thing we need to do is press control D and that will duplicate it and we can move it along and control D again and control D so you're gonna to have to add coins to all your levels um, in various different places allowing your player to kind of collect them let's do the same to level two so level two there it is and let's do the same here so let's click on the level two button and let's click on this link and then add the coin again and let's zoom in a little bit so let's have one coin here control D and you're gonna to have to add these to all your levels control D and so on okay so that'll do me for now so let's just save all scenes and now let's try and run it and hopefully all being well everything works so scores will set up press the start button move forward and it crashes so what have I done wrong so I have <laughs> it should say set underscore text there we go so it tells me here there is no such thing as this function um, so there it is set text so let's stop that let's save all scenes and let's run it again
And there we go, we're collecting. Now, the most important thing is when we move to the next level, that our score stays at 25. It doesn't reset itself. And that's what the auto attach does. So there we go, it's still at 25. And now when I click, I can still collect and everything is good. So there we go, we have our first fully functional HUD screen and it all works and it's all great. So get your coins in, get all that scripted and I'll see you in the next lesson.